anyway, we, we do that a couple of times. And um, this is the plough that we use. This is my plough at home on its second pass. So it's already gone through the ground once. And um, it's just cutting through and removing the compaction and just going a bit deeper. This is being pulled by a 45 horsepower tractor. And it's currently being pulled at about 18 inches. So now our soil on the second pass is about um, 12, 12 to 14 inches. We started off with three inches. Okay. So we've built up a little bit more than 1% increase in organic matter. We actually went from about uh, what was about 3% up to about 7% in uh, one year. So that's effectively, now think about that, that you've got a, um, you've say increased that organic matter content by 5%, that's effectively um, pulling five of you out of the bargain as far, taking care of five of your your emissions per year on one acre. And you're still growing some beautiful grass-fed beef <laughs> and keeping a farmer in a job and um, doing it in such a way that it's got to be organic because you can't do this, you can't build soil um, and um, spread fertiliser, spread, spread uh, nitrogenous or, um, or uh, artificial fertilisers. It just doesn't work. Um, because those, those um, elements are antagonistic to the development of, uh, of soil life. In fact, they replace soil life because one of the reasons why we use water-soluble fertilisers is so that uh, we can basically just use the soil as a medium to hold up plants and um, we feed the plants water-soluble nutrients. That's basically the game. Um, so the life in the soil is, you know, not radically necessary. Um, we also um, spray the soil. Well, we spray plants, but we forget that the plants are actually attached to the soil still. And um, so we, we spray plants with herbicides and we, pl we, we spray them with um, pesticides and we spray them with fungicides. Um, you know, there's animals that there's um, there's plants called algae that live in soils that get affected by herbicides. Um, there's um, and there's also plants <laughs> that get killed by herbicides, <laughs> which remove the water from the soil. When we de when we remove plants from the soil, we actually dehydrate the soil. Um, interesting, isn't it? Um, we also, when we use pesticides, we kill a lot of soil, uh, soil organisms. Well, not all, not all um, soil organisms are microscopic. And a lot of our pesticides are systemic. They're non-selective, so they um, kill everything. Um, a lot of those organisms that are, you know, like worms and like um, slaters and like all of those other in, um, things that are breaking down matter and putting it through some sort of... Um, process, chain of events. And then we've also got the worst of all, the fungicides. The fungicides um, not only affect the, fun the, the fungus on the plants that are growing because the plants are weakened, because they're being fed water-soluble fertilisers, but they're, uh, they're also killing the fungi in the soil. And uh, when you kill the fungi in your soil, you know, you really think you game, the game's starting to be over as far as having a life in the soil. So we have, to, we have to get all of that stuff back because um, that's, that's a, that's the, soil, the soil organisms are pretty tough. They take a bit of a beating. Um, but um, we, do a, we do a heck of a lot of damage in uh, removing these organisms. And, you know, it's interesting. I was um, even at an organic property the other day and we found, it, we found that their soil depth on an organic dairy farm was still only about four inches deep. And I said to the bloke, um, what are you doing here? Why have you, well, you've got an organic dairy farm, you're growing pasture, it's all grass fed, how come your, um, your, your soils are only four inches deep? And then he told me what he's doing, he's spreading all of his slurry all over the property and he's doing it often. So he's putting basically water soluble organic fertiliser out and the plants don't need to go hunting for any food, it's all there on the surface. 
and um, the livestock are not being managed on the property, so the uh, so the um, the uh, soils are being compacted, and so the root depth is uh, limited by the compaction as well. So you know, like even on organic properties, we're getting this sort of stuff, and where we have. If we're putting that much material out, that's, he's putting out enough material to feed about two feet of soil every year, which is pretty exciting when we look at that as a, as a flip, as the flip side of a neg turning a negative into a positive. He's got a lot of potential to feed a lot of soil organisms and, uh, and build a lot of soil.